Hey everybody, you're looking live on tape from another gorgeous day here at Walt Disney World. I'm here with my old pal Walt. Today we're going to pick up our AP magnet. Thanks for joining me. Let's get to it. So I'm a little bit late to the party today. The AP magnet has been out for nearly a month and I'm slacking on my duties. I haven't had a chance to get out to Epcot. I ha actually, you know what? I did come to Epcot, but my knee was hurt from the little tumble I had earlier. Sorry, I don't have my gimbal. This is kind of an impromptu visit. I've been a busy beaver all morning. I went to get my passport renewed. That was painful. And was over in this neck of the woods and figured why not head over to see how crowded it was and brothers sisters let me tell you super super crowded today but i am going to get my magnet i've been putting it off putting it off it ends the next few days so i thought i'd go ahead and do that today might get a beverage might get a snack i don't know got my picture taken with walt that was kind of a late bloomer bloomer too side note was on a conference call earlier and everyone was pissed i was at epcot today haters gonna hate well, let's go get that magnet now i don't even have a magic band on my kit fit no magic band but i am wearing oh yes the impossible to find 50th anniversary nike polo i'm wearing an lsu ball hat my standard sunglasses but enough about me let's go let's go <laughs> Let's go, hey, hey. <laughs> I had an awesome joke in my mind and I totally forgot it. Let's go say hey to hey, hey. So much like the other dispersals for the magnets, the queue is at Creation yeah. Shop. You just need a copy, a photocopy of your ID and copy of your pass. I'm gonna use my phone pass as my pass since I'm feel naked. I'm sans magic band today, but we'll have, sorry, I'm going to keep doing that until you just get completely annoyed. I keep putting my hand, my big old paw in front of the camera because I don't have a gimbal and I'm not shooting with my trusty, my trusty rusty GoPro. Oh, like I said, I'm really shocked by the crowd levels today. Parked all the way in somewhere 404, which is ironic because that's a computer for file not found. So that'll be fun trying to find my truck after all this. That's the signage I was talking about earlier. So you need annual pass check and ID check. So we'll head in here and pick these up. I'm in connections now. And there it is, boys and girls. The Hey Hey Magnet in my hand really super painless does go to show you and i get it you don't want them to run out but it does go to show you that if you wait a little bit it was less than a five minute wait which is awesome but since i'm in connections you know what that means time for a little merch shopping i will say if you have not seen i'm getting ready to show you the 2024 collection it's awesome it's like really 90s throwback, like a lot of pastels and neon colors. And whilst I don't own any of that merch yet, I probably will get some before the end of the year. But they've got some really cool stuff. Let's go check that out. So this is kind of like the color scheme I was talking to you about. Really bright and vibrant. T-shirts now, Disney World run you about 40 bucks. Just blows my mind. Don't even ask me about hoodies. But alas, hoodie season in Central Florida is coming to an end. I don't know if I have that yet. I know I have the truck. Probably should pick up the bus. Also, sadly, Michelle's 40% off discount has ended. And I just didn't, I didn't really see a lot this year that we had to have. But here's 
some t-shirts. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Spring break 2024. Valentine's Day is coming, luckiest place on earth. I don't like that. I've got vintage Epcot Center shirts, kind of cool. But I really do believe in my heart of hearts that they have discontinued the collaboration with Nike. I have not seen a new Nike polo or any outside of the new black Nike hat that just says Walt Disney World. I have not seen any fresh Nike Disney collab. And if you haven't seen this yet, that's your Festival of Arts spirit jersey. This stuff's going to be gone pretty soon. You'll end up seeing this at the warehouse or Cats Connection very soon. Simply because it's almost time for flower and garden. I'll kind of mosey around a little bit, see if I can't find any topiaries that are set up early. They usually do about this time of year, start getting those set up because they are very, very labor intensive. Hi, I would like a sipper for $44.99. Maybe next time. It's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. One of those old school little golden book deals. I did hear a rumor on another site that the original Magic Man is getting harder and harder to find. That you can only get the plus and then the... I'm going to take a, just a quick peek. It's super busy in this corner, so it's going to be a very quick peek. Scanning now, scanning now. I think I see one. No, that's a plus as well. Yes, it's true. I don't see any original magic bands. Huh. All right, we're going to make our way out. We're going to head over to England because I feel like I've earned myself a beer. And oh yes, one of my favorite parts, Flower and Garden, they start planting all these beds. They're already starting to come on out and didn't have to go too far to see some topiary displays because, and what, <laughs> what Trey would call the money shot place. You got Chip and Dale try to get around these folks. Okay, go ahead, boys. Got Chip and Dale, Pluto, Mickey and Minnie. This is freaking awesome. I love it. I like Festival of the Arts, but I think that the Flower and Garden has better food, honestly. And I definitely enjoy on a nice spring day, checking out the flowers. This is kind of the one thing I was kind of sad about my mom coming down during the holiday. She was originally scheduled to come during flower garden and she's a big gardener. And I wanted, to, wanted her to see all these incredible beds all around Epcot. I mean, it's just fantastic. I believe where I'm standing right now will turn into the butterfly habitat or the butterfly walk as I recall but I've been wrong before heck I've been wrong today never seen that before it's the Loch Ness Monster you know one of the, the benefits of not going to the parks as often <laughs> as I was going is Kind of makes it more special. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I don't want to say I kind of got too used to or too comfortable in the parks, but today is a great example of a day where it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. And the flowers seem a little brighter and the music seems a little louder. And it's one of those perfect days. Perfect Central Florida day. So, for those of you that deal with burnout or Disney burnout, leave your leave your comments in the comments. 
<laughs> I swear I've only had half a beer. Put your remarks in the comments. <laughs> little rusty, folks. Little rusty. Put put down in the comments what, if you've ever dealt with that or if you've. I don't know. Uh, had the same symptoms of Disney burnout. I'm just curious to hear your take on things um, to that issue. But the other piece of that as well is like I get pretty darn frustrated with people that don't know how to walk and uh, stop. You know, I've, I think it, I can't remember what the video is called, like Top Five Ranch, maybe. I don't know. But heard the top five things that annoy me about Disney had it a lot today so I think I'm going to slowly make my way out of the park but it is busy as said before I'll give you a, a view of spaceship earth which is kind of crazy normally at this time of day that's a true walk on and they are well lined up but spring break is definitely sprung I see a ton of kids a ton of groups I saw a lot of discussion online this week about negative comments about cheer and dance teams and school kids. To that, I, I kind of, I'm on the, let them have their fun. This might be the only time they ever get to come. Let them enjoy it. I'm not, I'm not defending rude behavior or inconsiderate behavior, but it's because they're loud and boisterous. I mean, they're just kids. You're a kid once, too. But I'll get off the soapbox for that one. Well, I think that's going to do it for today from an absolutely gorgeous Epcot. Did see this week Disney announced <clears throat> Tiana's Bayou Adventure to open this summer. Let's just say I'm a little excited for that. Hopefully, we get either a cast member or annual past previews for that because it's been a long time since I've ridden Splash Mountain. As you know, my favorite attraction in all of Disney World. I'm excited yet a little nervous to see what the folks at Imagineering have done to my favorite attraction. As always, folks, thanks for joining me. Glad you did. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And if you hated what you saw today, Blame that clerk at the post office. Wow. Really sorry that you work at the post office, but don't take that out on you. Good, hardworking folks like myself out there just trying to get a passport. Thanks, everybody. Keep the parks clean.